Good morning. Welcome to Rock Chat. Tracy here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So good morning. And I have a nice cup of tea. Um, a bit hot though. So we might as well start then with the thought of the day. I can't call it joke because they're not really funny. These are uh, remember whens. Remember when doesn't kind of scream with laughter. So, <clears throat> excusez-moi. Remember when summers were filled with bike rides, baseball games, hula hoops, bowling, visits to the pool and eating Kool-Aid? Oh, that was a drink. Oh, powder with sugar. Eating Kool-Aid powder with sugar. Well, no. But... In this neck of the woods, because this obviously is from the US with all those references to Kool-Aid and stuff like that. Um, summers were bike rides. Um, walking down the brook. I lived in North London and behind our house <clears throat> was this, well, I don't know what it is now, but it used to just be a walk through. But it was big enough to get like two cars either way, but it wasn't a road because at one end was a brook. And then you had a big shopping centre past the brook. So at the end of our road, we had this really lovely little stream, this little brook that used to run down there. So I used to go um, walking around and, you know, doing whatever in the brook, throwing stones in it. And you're kind of just walking and seeing all the little um, wildlife. And behind that walkway kind of driveway thing was a, a Jewish cemetery. And um, it was quite a scary thing for a child all these pure white tombstones and some of them are like big angels and um and then at night sometimes you could see flashlights in there and it was scary because you never know what that is when you're a child it's probably ghosts as far as you're concerned and um obviously not probably you know i wouldn't like to speculate what they were getting up to but <clears throat> yeah and um yeah what else did i do as a child played out with my friends most people came in when the streetlights came in, but on me, I was out there till I couldn't see any more. And my mum dragged me in. Um, but yeah, that and of course holidays. We, we came here a lot on holiday, so that was totally different. So yeah, summers were endless, weren't they, when you were young? They're not, not non-existent now. <laughs> Firstly, they're non-existent because of the weather. And then they're just non-existent because they fly by in the blink of an eye. Suddenly you're back to thinking about Christmas and all that stuff. Okay, let's have a look at my little Grogu. Grogu! Okay. Whoosh. Here we go. Oh, we've got a hologram. A naughty person up to no good. And there we go. <clears throat> That's today. My, more more little pad to write on. That's cool. It's kind of dual purpose, this. So as we don't have any... We don't have the acid anymore. We don't have the mean after the the sweet. We don't have the mean. We'll have to think of it of ourselves. I'm going to be mean now. It's uncharacteristic of me, I know. And I usually like poke fun in a tongue-in-cheek way. And I kind of mean this in a... I mean, I don't bear any ill will to any of these people, but... There are some thumbnails, well, they're not even really thumbnails, that really drive me bananas. And there's a couple of crochets <clears throat> that are specifically the ones in, that I mean. And whenever I see their video pop up, I immediately go, oh, so I don't even bother or, or want to see the content. <laughs> Does that ever happen with you? You see something and you just think, oh, I can't even watch that now. And one is... A very popular crocheter, but every video start as the thumbnail has a picture of her doing this, or you know, and it's just annoying. And then there's another one whose every single thumbnail is a picture of herself going, or and it's just like, no, do something else. We all know what you look like now, yeah. Just saying, that's the acid today. Their thumbnails, I hate them. And it stops me getting involved. I can't even watch the videos. I can't. I can't see what it's about. I don't know if they're brilliant or what. I've just, it turns me off before I even 
so it's what's called clickbait the one and i don't like clickbait I steer clear of it so yeah is there anything that grinds your gears what what winds you up when you see it why won't you click on a video if you see it let me know and i won't do it <laughs> so, <laughs> no not that wasn't my real motive i found something i went in the yarn van package up some orders and um i found crochet hooks i found my pebble i found my uh, scissors the other day uh, I haven't really looked through all the whips to find all the other crochet hooks, but I found this. Do you even remember me doing this? I don't remember it. I know I obviously must have made it in lemon and blue, neutral. Well, no, it's lemon and blue. But, you know, I must have done it. <laughs> Did I do a tutorial for this? It must have been at a time when I really had no idea which way was up or something. Do I remember it? I kind of had this vague memory of lemon and blue but i'm thinking that the lemon was a bit too pale for my liking but did i do a tutorial i didn't even finish the blanket so i brought it in i'm gonna finish it well there you go <laughs> it'll do wouldn't it it'll do for something so it just God, i've got whips i didn't even know about i didn't even know you know when i sorted all my whips out my unfinished object, should I say. I didn't even see that one. It was hiding somewhere else. I shock myself sometimes. Oh. <clears throat> so, yeah, yes, the other day I did an evening live. And um, it's quite cool doing an evening one. I, re I really do miss it. But... Um, Every time I do one, I know I'm going to clash with someone, but then I could say they're clashing with me. That's what I should say. They are clashing with me. There's no two ways about it. So um, what am I doing? I've got um, a swatch video with a difference because not only did I swatch up some yarn. Oh, I need to go and get some more out before I finish that. Um, I can't find my little crochet hook now. I've been using... Oh, I might have put it in there. Yep, I did. I, I thought that would go missing and you'll never find it again. So um, I put it in there like a good girl. Unbelievable. So, yeah, it's in there. I've been using this so that I can do a little review on that and um, tell you what it's all about, what it's like. I didn't put my other light on this morning, you know, the pink one, the new one, because I was so hot I had to have the fan on. And I can't plug them both in. I, I can if I sort this room out. If I sort out this hot... I did at one point, didn't I? It was really tidy. Not anymore. So if I sort all this out, I can move the little extension plugs where they've got to go. And I've got another one under there that I can bring over this side. I think I do have some down there plugged in. But yeah, it does need a bit of a sort out. And Gary needs to um, kind of gut this room because he's... What he did in the lounge in the bedroom with the panelling is going to carry on because I've got pink wallpaper now on that wall, the same as the bedroom comes through. And then that's going to carry on now all the way around here. Might not be the whole room because obviously that's under a desk and that's the yarn wall. Well, some of it's yarn, some of it's not. That bit from over there, you can see. I don't know if you can see that bit. That's probably a pair of my boots. <laughs> so I've been kind of moving all my stuff. I don't have too much stuff. And then I go buy more. So the only trouble with me is I don't relinquish the old. I think, I like them still. I wear them. And then you don't, do you? Because you've got ones that you like more now. And I need to do that. And the last time I tried to give stuff to charity, they said they didn't want it. They had too much stuff which shocked me. I thought, you know, really? But you don't know what you're turning down, you know? It could be a Chanel dress, for all you know. It weren't, but it could have been. <clears throat> I didn't even care to look. So I just binned it in the end. I couldn't drive around looking for charity shops that did want it, you know, just saying. Sometimes I have been known to just leave it outside of an evening and then they have no choice but to take it in and see if they want it i used to have the thing is you see i've got a cancer research gift aid card and i also have a demelza house 
gift aid card somewhere. So, you know, they actually don't have to pay the tax on the stuff you give them. But, oh well. I'm sure there's something I was going to tell you and it's gone right out of my head. Oh. Might be that um, I've lost about seven pounds. Um, I say about because... Uh, when I get up, I always like to be, um, you know, get up, go to the loo, weigh myself. And I didn't. I had a cup of tea first. So um, I think it might be slightly out, but it was about six and a half anyway. So I reckon it's about seven pounds I've lost, which is a brilliant start. Hasn't been a whole week, I don't think. So that is an absolutely brilliant start. I'm over the moon about that. Uh, what else forgot to tell you? Um, oh, I started a new a new thing and I'm thinking of doing a little piece on it on Rocksteady. Um, I unboxed it way before Christmas, but I haven't used it. And I thought I might do that, might, you know, see if I could actually show the benefits of it over on on Rocksteady. It's, um, it's an extract that I purchased. The weirdest thing, right, since I've been derma rolling... And I do this over on Rocksteady. It's like a thing I've been doing. I've really noticed some improvements, especially in my neck. My neck is nowhere near as bad as it was. And I haven't lost, you know, enough weight for that to have really made a difference. So I'm really, really happy about that. And, you know, when I do it, I don't always do my neck. That's the thing. So I'm getting good results. I think I'm getting really, really good results with that. So if you haven't seen the derma rolling... I've done about three videos now. So, yeah, keep keep up, man. Keep up. Why have you not watched it? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know who that was that just jumped into my body then. <laughs> Sorry. I promise I, I won't let them do it again. Let's have some tea calming down, shall we? So, um, latest things I've been doing. Right, I went into Jan's live. After I did mine, I went into Jan's. I had a little chat with Jan. Um, I went into Granny D's live. She did a little one. She was in hospital, in a hospital bed. And, um, of course, I knew nothing about this because I've been missing her lives. Um, I've got such a busy life that I don't have the time to just faff around in the evenings like I used to. I'm either exhausted plonked in front of the tv or um packing up stuff and doing stuff when you know i can or spending the evening with gary watching something so um yeah i've not really got the, the same time that i used to but i've been trying to get in our lives um and so the times that was my shoe by the way listen it wasn't me i'm like moving my my boots too big but it's very comfortable, even so. So, yeah, I've been trying to get in her life. <laughs> but it's just been not working out. Because on the odd occasion that I think, right, I'm going to look for Granny D. She won't do one that night. You know, and this is this has been going on for a while. So I finally got in to see her. And I was like, oh, thank God. You know, she's still all right. But she broke her leg in two places. Her leg broke in two places. She didn't do it. It wasn't like she had an accident or anything like that. It just broke in two places. And she said, you know, maybe she's got crumbling bones, but it's quite a worry. But she is in hospital at the moment and, um, yeah, she's having it fixed. So uh, hopefully that'll all go well. Madonna came into my life. It's really weird. It's like catching up with, um, catching up with my beginnings on YouTube, which is, which is good. But I hope Granny D has a speedy recovery, bless her heart. And uh, then she came into my life as well. So it was good to see her and, you know, and Madonna. Brilliant. Great to see them both. Fantastic. All we need now is Linda, just a crochet sister. And we'll have the trilogy. We'll have the trifecta. Oh, no, I need Penny as well. If Penny was to pop in and say hello, then that would that would be the icing on the cake. And and Linda. Yeah, so uh, that's what I've been kind of getting up to lately. We've finished Trigger Point, Gary and I. No more Trigger Point, nothing to watch now. I hate that. There's only six episodes. What's that all about? You know, they should have gone on for at least 12. I don't know. 
and there was little bits of it i can't really tell you too much in case you've not watched here but there was a, a kind of a little formula there that i on in the second series that i thought hmm 24 i did that but you know i'm not saying too much but it's kind of like a little formula that worked so let's just pinch a bit of it i think that was cool i like it i love 24 i you know Kiefer sutherland really needs to bring that back and you know if i ever saw him i would tell him he better not ever kill jack bauer because i would turn into annie wilkes and make him bring make him bring him back just saying you know who annie wilkes is mr man <laughs> I do deranged very well, I think. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just messing with chair. Of course. I mean, I'm in a bit of a zany mood today. I don't know why, where this has come from. Maybe it's the stuff that I put in my water this morning. I'm still toying with the idea of getting one of those water up thingy. Air up, that's it. Water up. <laughs> Air up, bottom. Still toying with it. I want one. I really do, but, you know, a bit expensive. Now, I've got a little bit of Happy Mail down there, ready to open on my birthday. And I know it's from the lovely Angel, because she always sends me a present, bless her heart. And I had, because it arrived in an Amazon bag, I thought, oh, what have I ordered? And I couldn't figure it out. And I thought, maybe I was owed something. So I kind of opened the bag, and there was a box inside and a card, and it told me that it was from Angel. So I thought, oh, I'm not going to open it now. No, no, it's a, it's a present. Bless her. She always, she never forgets. Bless her heart. She's so sweet to me. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this. And I'm going to um, sort out my new videos that I've got to make. And uh, the postman wait for him. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.